Hi everybody, this is Boaz Fala and I'm here with a weekly astrological message for the week between the 15th and the 22nd of April 2017. And this has been an intense week, boy oh boy, with that Sun conjunct Uranus and Aries. I personally have been feeling the impatience, the need to go ahead to state my mind, not very diplomatically I must say. I mean, the, the, everything is on a short leash, we're, we're so, you know, our fuse can go off like, like this, and we're very territorialistic as well. So, um, we still have this going on uh, in the coming weeks, so everybody take it easy. Don't succumb to your animalistic and rebellious nature, unless we have a good reason to. And be more diplomatic and tactful and more patient. I learned that finally Venus, the planet of love, relationships, and contentment, income, everything that makes us satisfied in our life, is finally moving out from retrograde on the 15th and back into regular motion. It does that on a degree, 27 degree of Pisces, that is considered the exaltation degree of Venus. It's a sweet ending to a time that wasn't so sweet it was more bitter I mean the Venus retrograde is uncomfortable for a lot of people because if we are in a relationship things can change if we're not in a relationship well maybe some positive change can occur but sometimes there's changes in our incomes or things that are generally connected to the harmony and comfort we have in our life and they're not easy a lot of the time but as this Venus halts and goes back into regular motion, it does that in conjunction to Chiron, the wounded healer, very sensitive place, but a very wise place that takes a lot of wisdom with it to the next chapter of this road. And you know, it's, it's, it's squaring Saturn, the planet of karma. So we're paying back our dues, so to speak, and we're really becoming wiser and older and more experienced. We know better how to work within our own limitations and truly be free. So there's some sweetness there. On the uh, 18th of the month, there's a connection between Saturn and the Moon. Be kinder, be uh, more, um, be warmer and kinder and loving both to yourself and other people in your life. Don't be so judgmental. On the 19th, the Sun is going to step into Taurus. Happy birthday, all you Tauruses! And um, when the sun is in Taurus, who we are and what we do is connected to the Turian attributes. First of all, the five senses, hearing, seeing, smelling, tasting, and touching, and everything that is connected to our own assets, our own values, our own talents, and our um, money and our income. So basically what happens is that we become more hard-necked, more stubborn, more territorialistic, and more into ourselves, more, um, there's a feeling of uh, omnipotency in, in, in Taurus, and there's a feeling of autonomy in Taurus. And we need to be careful not to keep other people out, and to really let people in, not to be our own island, so to speak. But there's also something very beautiful, because we're connecting to an inner essence that is beyond any current trend, it's beyond any current time, it's beautiful and aesthetic and harmonious whenever and wherever. On the 20th, Mercury is going to be in Kazemi, in the heart of the Sun. It's going to be a great time within this Mercury retrograde to reflect and vision and visualize how it is you want any Turian attribute that, as we said, is a contentment from your five senses, your inner assets, and of course, income, all of these uh, different subjects in your life, it's time to visualize how you would like them to develop on the 20th. Special energy there when Mercury is in the heart of the Sun. Other than that, Pluto, the, the planet ruling Scorpio, is going to go into retrograde motion until the 29th of September. And in that time, we could see a lot of shifts within the power structure, both within ourselves and in the outside world. Pluto, the ruler of Scorpio, is in charge of everything that runs underneath our surface. That emotional lava that goes just beneath our consciousness and causes us to erupt and change and revolutionize 
things in our lives. So things that have been very important for us in the past, we can see in a different light and they become much less important. Things that have not been so important up, up to now become much more important. And as a result, we evolve. As a result, we change. As a result, there is a revolution within things that take part in our lives. And we can see also powerful figures fall off from their pedestal. And, 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 and there's something about bringing, bringing darkness into light with Pluto, bringing things up to the surface, and we can find some unpleasant and uncomfortable truths about people that we thought were very powerful or, 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 or that we put eye up there. And, and, and on the other side of the coin, people that have been the underdogs can rise up to power. And there could be a lot of shifts within the power structures in society. We can see people in our own lives that are going uh, either on power trips and ego trips and, and or people that are completely out of it and losing, losing every sense of personal power that they had. And of course, Pluto is also connected to sexual behavior and to any kind of social taboo. And we can see shifts within how we connect to these subjects personally and how the society at large connects to these taboo subjects. On the 21st, the planet of energy and masculinity, Mars, is heading into the sign of Gemini. That means that all our impulses and desires go up through our cerebral box and we take them through our mind. On the one hand, that's good because we can control them better, but on the other hand, we could be inconclusive, we can weigh the pros and cons too much, and we could let our mind, you know, move us around too fast. Gemini doesn't stay enough in one place, you know, it wants to do everything now. <laughs> so, it's about staying at the, at, at the same place long enough so we can see the fruits of our labors and not really going off from one place to the other, remaining inconclusive or shallow. That's about everything for this week. Ah, one more thing. On the 19th, the 20th, and the 21st, if I'm not mistaken, there's a connection between the Moon, Pluto, or uh, Mars. It's a time that we should be nicer. I'm sorry, that we should be nicer and, 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 and uh, more logical and not as upset and not caught up in the drama. Be careful from any clashes in your life. So that's really it. I'm Boaz Fowler. I'm an evolutionary astrologer. And of course, for any consultation, question, or class, or lecture, or any, any, anything that comes up to your mind, um, I'd love to hear from you. And of course, I'd love you to share this video. Thank you for listening. Have a beautiful week. Bye-bye.